hot messes. So for the past couple of weeks, I've been giving advice on how to survive your freshman year of college. And today, I'd like to take it one step further and make a video about how to literally survive your first year of college. Here are my five tips on how to get through college without dying. Okay, so tip number one is if you're going to be drinking, you need to be cool about it. If you have no prior experience with alcohol, it is not safe to try and keep up with your friends or older people or anyone else with the amount they're drinking. Unfortunately, it's also unsafe to accept a drink at a party from someone you don't know, always. Tip number two is to not wear high heels when you go out. Heels are fun, I get it, but you will fall, they will break, and you will take them off and walk around and get tetanus. Tip number three is to let someone know if you get too stressed. Yeah, college is a lot harder than high school, and it might seem like your teachers are even waiting for you to fail, but that's not true. There are gonna be days when you stay up all night working, but if you find that you're doing that seven days a week for an entire semester or quarter, you need to talk to a counselor or to the professor who's laying on that workload. Let them know that you're having a hard time, and I guarantee they will at least take some steps to try and help you out. Tip number four is to try and eat food like a human being. This means if you are prone to putting food below everything else on your list of priorities, you need to rearrange some things. You need to fuel your body and your brain so that you can survive. Me and my former roommate were just discussing our little dorm problem of eating a pint of Ben & Jerry's a piece a night. Every night every night. Of course, in these scenarios, I'm trying to talk to people who have a generally healthy relationship with food, but who tend to get a little extreme. If this is something that's a bigger issue for you, then you should consider talking to a counselor about it. And finally, tip number five is gonna make me sound like your annoying, nagging aunt, but you need to be safe about sex. Unless you go to Brigham Young, colleges make it very easy for you to acquire condoms, and there are probably lots of places on campus where you can go talk to doctors, or counselors, or just older people who can give you advice on other specific topics if you need it. And if you do go to a school where that stuff is not easy to come by, use the internet. It is your friend. Okay, I'm finally done feeling like your weird mother giving you a lecture. If you have anything else to add on what I just discussed, leave it in the comments below. And as always, if you have any questions or topics suggestions for future videos, leave that down there as well. I did not say topic suggestions right. I never can. Topic suggestions. You know the drill. I'll see you guys next Monday.